And now on Transport Fever, the shipping forecast. Dogger, Fisher, German Bite. There will probably be some food arriving shortly. Yes, indeed, there will be some food arriving shortly. Actually, I, I, I possibly should have checked that. I don't think this is food, is it? It's going to be oil. Yeah, and it's empty. So uh, so that's all good. Um, it is probably supposed to be empty. Yes, it is supposed to be empty. It's coming in to pick up fuel. You can tell it's been a couple of weeks since I have uh, since I last played the game uh, because I moved house. There you go, which is why things possibly sound a little different. We're, de- we're a work in progress here, friends, um, so much like myself. And, uh, and there's that. Right, I, I had hoped to show you something somewhat dynamic to start off with, uh, as a shipping forecast aside. Let's have a look at the, uh, look at the old airport. Oh, of course, he's leaving. So much for getting a dynamic opening shot. Um, but the good news, such as it is, is that uh, pretty much everything we've got is making some bucks uh, these days. Uh, this aircraft is making me the best part of 75 grand a year. Thank you very much. Uh, keep it up. That would be grand. Thank you. Uh, and then if we look at the overall uh, performance of our fleet uh, over the course of a year, I mean, we've just rolled past the start of May, uh, so we've just paid our expenses for the month. Uh, but we're only in May, and we're already breaking green for the year. So uh, uh, so we're offsetting the loan interest of 390 grand pretty quickly. Um, and that's, that's jolly good too. And let's not forget that I've already bought, I don't know how or what that was, but uh, I've paid 1.8 million for something. What does 1.8 million get you? Uh, road stuff, 78k. Oh, I bought some ships. Uh, okay, so that, that answers that then. I bought some more ships. I put them somewhere, and they're doing things on the water now. So that's good too. Right, well, given that I'm largely ignorant of to what I've done lately, I'll, I'll probably watch... I, I would have watched, I'll be honest, I would have watched the last episode to figure out where I was if I had a net connection. Uh, I don't have a net connection, however, so uh, I am flying in the dark. Uh, the four times time mod is re-enabled. We are making money. I'm going to go to the bombastic intro, and then we're going to build a train line. Yes. Right, so obviously enough, the train line that we need to build, it's high time we started putting together uh, the kind of routes that actually start linking cities up. Uh, so that we can make a bit more money, frankly. Uh, I could buy a, a replacement train or two for some of the aging stock that I've got running. Uh, but while they're making money, let's show you the making money button. Uh, who's not making money? Naughty. Uh, well, the oil uh, to uh, Raccoon City to Atlantis is not profitable yet. But as soon as one of those ships arrive, it's gangbusters. So I'm not bothered about that. Um uh, the intercity between Silent Hill and Dark City, for some reason, isn't making much cash. But then it is slightly over the age limit. And uh, the Gen 1 from Toon to Elmo is 68 years old and not making any money. So most of these non-profitable services actually do have a bit of an age factor going on. Or you're the other way around and they're actually nine months old. And it's simply a case of it hasn't bedded in yet. Although the Zion commuter service, I'm pretty sure, is older than that. Regardless, at the other end of the equation, we've got our first service that's broken a million, which is beautiful. Uh, and obviously, that's that's being helped by the fact that it's running goods in both directions, uh, which is tremendously helpful. Uh, Gen 1 now, it's got 60 passenger capacity. It's, it's doing very nicely indeed. Uh, everything is doing just fine. See, look, we've got ship, train, ship, plane, train, truck. Huh? Oh, and then to finish, bus. Look, look, train, tram. I have done it all. I've got the lot and they're all making money. Marvellous. Um, right, now then, back on topic. Uh, my my target, or what I was thinking of doing, uh, was running from the Citadel to Caprica City. Now, hooking up to Caprica City is all important because it's part of the uh, the three sisters here, uh, the Caprica City, Moss Eisley, Shermer, uh, which will then also lead us to the airport, uh, where there is bucks to be made, particularly when better planes with uh, with greater capacity come along, by which I mean the DC-3. Uh, that's that's the only thing we're really talking about there. Uh, but the reason I chose the Citadel as this kind of takeoff point is because the change in elevation, I think there may be a way to snake around here uh, without this turning into uh, some massive pillared, endless flaming bridge. And then uh, the goal will be 
to try and come in down the side somewhere but of course it all starts getting a little bit uh, a little bit complicated so it might be that I actually terminate the train line outside the city limit to try and facilitate a, a slightly better you, you can use your own judgment on that a slightly better onward connection when I've got the money to expand it further and that's all this comes down to. I mean, it's 1930 now. I have spent an awful lot of time kind of hanging around building up cash to build what we've got. It all makes money. Uh, and it almost makes enough money now that I can I can think about being a bit more extravagant, uh, at least in terms of, uh, of building rail routes in straight lines rather than... Uh, rather than wending my way. But I, I think we're going to be straight lining this one again. Uh, uh, no, not, not straight lining. I think we're going to be wending. Wending is what we're going to be doing. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Unable to align the terrain. You shock me. Um, yeah. Uh, if there was one way to sum up this particular map, it is you're unable to align the terrain. And bingo and that's uh, that's actually largely the reason that it's not available in isolation on the uh, on the steam workshop is because as much as it's very lumpy now that is nothing compared to the raw map the raw map is a, a jagged lumpy mess and uh, and i went to town with the free smoothing gun to try and make it a little bit more playable and, uh, and in retrospect i maybe didn't do enough hold on there is more than one way to uh, to address this uh, this issue and yeah, now if we go that way can you what have we got here 160 meters it's not that long a station will need upgrading in the future now this is a bit of a shake away from the set the town center which is something we're always reluctant to uh, to do we want to go straight through the middle of town where possible we can have a station there yeah it doesn't help anybody uh, somewhere around here would be magnifico. I'm I am resisting. There we go. That. How about that? Well, it's good in principle, except for the fact that you ain't connecting that to a road any time this millennium. Um, no, you're gonna have to. You're, you're gonna have to have a rethink there. But this is this is the kind of angle of attack that I want to go for. I just want to... I mean, I will pay half a million quid for this station if I have to. Uh, but uh, I'd rather I'd rather not. Uh, I mean, here's the... I mean, the other option, and this is actually a really nice place to put it as well. Um, if I could get a, a bit of alignment here, that'd be good. The only problem is that for ongoing services, I will need to bulldoze my way through here. Now, normally, I would have absolutely no, uh, no problem with that. But uh, since we are... You know, we're we're kind of clinging to our, our solvency. You know, I know, I just said everything was made. Hold on, that looks a bit better. Um, let's, uh, let's zoom in and see what sort of elevation problems we're going to have. Come on, show me your elevation problems such that I may treat them uh, through the application of scorn and money. Come on, you, you, ha you had one. Don't say you could only do it when I'm zoomed out. I need to be zoomed in so I can get a feel for the thing. It's around here somewhere. All right, zoom back out. Get a feel for the thing. Come on, where are you? Oh, whoop, there, ah, there. Actually, that might be up a little bit. Have you got a measure of where that is? Yes, I have. Okay, right. It is up a little bit. It's not too expensive. It means that we're going to have to do a little bit more. Da you know what? Enough chat. Get on with it. Ooh, he's uh, he's bold today. Um, yeah, I have. Well, you know, there comes a point where you you go. Well, I could either sit here for the next fifteen minutes faffing around with this and trying to get some action out of it, or you can just get on with it and hope that the action develops uh, in due course. Now then, where's this bit of road? Apologies for the camera wigglage. Uh, where are we going to actually connect to here? I'm going to want a bus stop up here. I don't think we're going to get a proper bus stop. One building will be removed. Sucks to be you, Miggins. All right, we're in. Okay, now then. Oh, my giddy aunt. Ah, ooh. You think there's a bit of a drop going off there? Uh, okay, well, this is... The price just went up. Pray it does not go up further. Um, now then. Should we go straight for high-speed tracks? I'm thinking no. Uh, what about electrification? You've done the station for some reason. 
All right, yeah, I'm going to go for electrification. What the heck? Uh, right, okay, so that's maximum downhill. Oh, All right, show me the crow flying here. There you go, crow flying. Well, that's our $47 million bridge. And... And just no. No, it's... it's I mean, hold on, it gets worse. If we were to continue onwards, let's say I did put a station over here. Can we even reach that elevation? Just about. That's a seventy-eight million dollar bridge. We're not. Uh, uh, don't worry. I'm not even. I'm not even entertaining the notion. We might, however, be writing off a quarter of a million quid station. Um, looking at it from this angle, of course, it does appear to be rather obvious that that is somewhat up a mountainside. Yeah, why did it look so good the other way? Don't you yell contour tool at me. The contour tool would not have prevented that. I was eyeballing it badly, as it turns out. Uh, yeah, you see, you want your station down here somewhere uh, and then have tunnels and things going through this this lump. All right, well, I'm not, I'm not bulldozing it. Uh, we'll leave it there for future generations to ponder. See, if I stick this here, we've already solved half the problem. It's only 200 grand. Yeah, it's fine. I'll be quiet. Uh, right, do that. 100,000 for a road. Well, okay, I suppose. On the plus side, I suppose there might be enough room to get a proper bus stop in there. We're going to need to come back and make that hill slightly less horrendous, but, uh, but there it is. Right, so we are faced with the usual dilemmas. Uh, the dilemmas usual, which is how do we get down... Uh, from this uh, from this lofty perch over towards have we uh, should we crow fly this one as well just to depress ourselves uh, what are we looking at oh this one's only a 14 million dollar bridge surely you must be able to do it for oh I don't know somewhere between three and four million uh, would be absolutely lovely of course I mean that that wouldn't leave me with any money to uh, to actually buy a train or anything but uh, but you know sailor V. How are you going to do this? And it's less about how I'm going to do it now. We are going to go, you know, very, very cornery to start with. Now we bring up the contour tool because we want to try and stick to our patch where possible to wend our way down here. I don't think. I hey, know. Yeah, actually, I do think. So if we start out uh, going this way a bit right, and we try and stick in this layer. So we can probably do a quick hop over onto that one. Then come around here, continuing going down, going down, keep going down. And then maybe if we're lucky, we can swing out that way on something approaching uh, flat. Because uh, the other, I mean, as much as I know, I know that's a very, uh, a very tight corner we've got there. Uh, there you go. See, see, that's that's come off more or less as as intended. Uh, we do have this modern bridge that it suggested as well, and, and normally I would reject such things and go, no, give me something historic and, and, and splendiferous. Uh, but actually, I, I'm over historic and splendiferous. We'll take what works. All uh, right, on you go. A bit of straight bridge action there. Uh, now, this presumably is topping out at 75 because I haven't opted for, uh, for high-speed track. That's okay. Uh, I don't need to be using high speed track yet, but now that I've I've got a taste of 75, I do want to try and keep that up a little bit. Uh, 60 is probably enough. 75 would be amazing, but I mean that's that's going to require a tunnel, and that's ooh, it's tricky. It's only sort of partially giving me access to the next bit. Although if we drop the limit a little bit, we can go slightly more severely downhill. And yeah, I mean, it ramps the expense up, but it means that we can get the the downhill section out of the way relatively all in one go, so that we end up with something that is not relatively all in one go. You know what I'm driving at. Has half a million quid for this bit, Gov. You've only got 900 grand left. Yeah, but a boat will come in in a minute, and that will be like, you know, Christmas. All right, well, oh, okay, apparently I've done that. Oh, that's, uh, that's a bold manoeuvre. Right, okay, so next leg. <clears throat> if we're going to... Well, where are we going to emerge? We're going to emerge about there. 
Uh, so uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to head over this way. Yeah, seventy five is the uh, is the order of business. Now here's the thing: I'm going to keep all of the uh, the legacy track that I end up building. I'm going to try and keep it intact. But what I'll probably do is run a uh, new track, kind of crossing over it in parallel to it, under, over, all of that kind of thing. Um, once I can afford to uh, to go a little more crow flies with it, uh, in order to make future services a bit more effective. That said, I might not. What have we got here? Ah, oh, ah, ground level. Marvellous. Right, so, uh, you know, this might actually work. <laughs> hey, no one is is less surprised than you. Uh, you always knew it was going to work because you have faith. That's that's why you're here. You kind of go, no, no, Uncle Colonel's not going to let us down. He's going to he's going to come up with something uh, something completely wicked because uh, apparently people still say that. Could just be me, of course. Uh, maybe maybe that's an anachronistic term at this point. Uh, right. Okay. Now then, where are you going to put the station at this end? As mentioned, I want to put it somewhere where uh, where I can continue my journey onwards to the other towns, uh, ret retiring the, the the tram service that exists. I mean, we're a long way from that, but you know that's the that's the eventual aspiration. Let's see if it will let me park around here somewhere. Oh, I tell you what might work. If I get rid of that, will you park around here somewhere? Well, yeah, kind of. Kind of is is often as little as I need. All right, it'll do it as soon as I've got the cash. Are we going to wait? Are we going to see if the AI interferes with our uh, our lofty notions here, or uh, are we going to get it done? Of course, what you should have installed at this point is the Bendy Station mod, but you haven't. Oh well, you know, lessons lessons have been learned. Just take the money out, and then when your ship comes in, pay it off. All right, okay, there you go. Good sense there. I know, of course, the, the bank manager is more than happy to oblige, because uh, he's an obliging kind of a fool. Uh, right, okay, well, that's got the angle, blimey, it really does go uphill, doesn't it? Okay, well, I'm not disheartened at that notion, because I'm thinking, I have a look at the, uh, the old crocodile, I mentioned that recently, I know, I was lamenting that I might not get to use it. Uh, we have a look at a crocodile, and, uh, and see if it is too slow... I know it's a good strain. That's fine. I know that. I just want to use it. Um, and I, I don't currently have any goods of a, uh, of a particularly weighty nature that I need to haul about in that kind of uh, furiosity. Uh, yes. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Right, now then, depot. Who are you calling it a depot? Right, fling that out here, yeah. It doesn't give you much wiggle room, does it? No, it doesn't. I've made that mistake before. You've made all the mistakes before. In fact, you invented some of them, and others have sought to emulate your mistakes. I know. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, tough, the life of the innovator. Uh, right, okay, we bang that on here. Like so. And, uh, and that should be... Uh, I don't know, good enough. Right, how much have I got? Uh, let's uh, let's max ourselves out. Four and a half million. That is not a lot of money with which to buy a train. But we're going to do it anyway. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ha. All right. Do we go steam? Do we go electric? It's going to depend on what sort of grunt. I'd love to use a Milwaukee, but look at it. I mean, it's eight and a half million quid. Uh, what about a 4.4 here? Too much. 2.9, you see. 47 miles per hour. We're in miles per hour, so that's 75 miles per hour, not kilometers an hour. 47 is not quick, but the hauling power of this fella um, is going to uh, is going to work very nicely at getting up the hill. Uh, what have we got diesel-wise? You've got the little Alco, which is, <laughs> which is faster than the crocodile. Okay, mm -hmm. multi-units, no electrics yet, one diesel, and uh, and we've already deployed that once. So, we want something with lots of little wheels, because in the comments they said the little wheel trains do hills better than the big wheel trains. And that's that was in a language that I could understand. Uh, Mikado, like, like Mikado's, it's a freight train. Scotsman, 4.16 million. Well, it's quick though, isn't it? 
it might actually be able to take that line at a fair a fair lick. The question is, is the line long enough to warrant a train that does that kind of speed? It's not. It, I mean, it's not a very long route. We are yet to reach the point of having routes that are in any way lengthy. But uh, it's tempting. Well, what about this Baden, 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 Baden? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's from the uh, uh, Maschinenbau uh, Gesellschaft uh, Karlsruhe for service in something Germany, and and so forth, as you're well aware. Uh, the nine thousand is obviously a is a freight train. It's it's too big to be anything else. I mean, look at it. Typical ostentatious American number. That's why we like them. Uh, ten wheeler, yeah, yeah, forty seven six to yeah. the Atlantic might do the trick, you know. I think it might. Although I've got a Pacific here. What have we got going on there? <clears throat> well, the, tell you what. Look, I mean, the ten. No, the the Atlantic's got a bit of pace. It's not got a lot of power, right? Okay, one point seven million. Uh, Scotsman, four million quid. Uh, I've got four and a half. Uh, what have we got as far as trains are concerned? We could we could run some of these. They are nowhere near fast enough. They aren't, are they? Well, what do you, what do you pull behind a flipping flying, flipping Scotsman flipping? Something that does 75 miles an hour would be ideal. Uh, six axle does 68. The heavyweight parlor is American. Uh, we haven't actually got any wagons that, uh, that would really make the, the Scotsman fly. In a flying sense. So we're going to go, we're going to have to go for something else. Uh, yeah, yeah, all, all this mismatched business. Uh, you know, there's no point having something that can go like the clappers if you end up pulling something that can't. 62 for the Atlantic uh, or the Pacific. Right, what's the Pacific got? 1.3 versus 952. Or the 3.5. 1.3 on the 3.5. Well, I think the Pacific is, uh, it directly correlates with that power, except it's got a, a ton more tractive effort. I'm having one. Two and a half million. Right, that's going to leave me two and a half million quid to buy uh, to buy some wagons to go behind it. I'd love to use some some light stuff. The, he the heavyweight, as the name suggests, is a little on the heavy side. 77,000 pounds. This is ninety-nine thousand pounds. That would be heavier. Uh, compartment car only does thirty-seven miles per hour. I don't want to mix and match from both sides of the Atlantic because there will be a riot in the comments and everyone will be pointing fingers at me. Well, I'm afraid there, chums, that uh, that I don't actually have an awful lot of choice in the matter. This is, I mean, it's a million and a half each. I can afford two at a push. 38 capacity is not going to offset the cost of running this flipping thing. Uh, we're going to need more than that. Okay, well, if this is 22,000 for eight, you can't put Great Western coaches behind a flaming... Hold on. Is it, yeah, it's a Pacific for crying out loud. You can't put Great Westerns on that. Why don't you go to the workshop and get some that you can use? Because I don't have an internet connection at the moment. I don't, we could go around in circles on this all day. Uh, I need something that's going to make some money that isn't going to kill me in terms of cost. Now, those are still quite weighty, but we do have 16 capacity on there. Yeah, and I can have quite a few of them. It's heavy, though, and it only does 50. Well, when I'm hauling them, I'm unlikely to get much above 50 anyway. All right, we're going. All right, we're doing it. Mental note. Go to the flipping workshop. Right, four. We'll do the trick. Okay, right. Now, I'm going to pause here uh, to set the line up. Not that the time is ticking. It's it's very nice having the time actually taking its time. To have the time take its time. Very good. Uh, to uh, to get from, uh, uh, from one month to the next. It gives you a little bit more breathing space to think. Anyway, this is the Chaz Contraband. Uh, it was going to be... Uh, Chaz is going to be running this route how well it runs the route, I, I couldn't honestly tell you. Uh, we'll get it running first, and then we will redirect some of the uh, the commuting services or the town-to-town -to -town services that we've got already, and see if we can't make that a little bit more, uh, a little bit more something. Uh, yes, Gavrik City, the Citadel sidings. Well, I suppose it is rather, isn't it? Given that that's probably you know the Citadel. Um, 
Uh, oh, what would that be? Uh, the, the Citadel Folly. There you go. Right, and then this one here is going to just be the Citadel. Marvellous. Um, and then that means I have to name this line according to my standardised naming convention, uh, which I haven't forgotten in the slides. Is, is this still a Gen 1? Yeah, it is. It is. We haven't advanced to Gen 2 yet. Uh, Gen 1, and we're going from Sita. Very good. I mean, you pronounced it, but uh, you didn't quite get the, the letters in the right order. Uh, Sita to Caprook. Just Capra, surely. It is now. Um, right, or is it CPCA? You could go that way. CPRC, you could do as well. Whatever, it will be in there somewhere. Well, it already is in there somewhere. Look up one of these, uh, one of these tram jobs. Uh, Capra, that's what it is. That's what you've got. That's where it's going. You get to work. Uh, sit at Capra. Have at it. And uh, definitely go to the workshop once your net connection is back up and, uh, you know, get some flipping exotic wagonage. Doesn't even have to be exotic, just functional. So it's rather a shame that we've got this electrification up now. I know, I admit it, it's true. It's going gonna, it's gonna to disrupt the, uh, the smooth flow of, uh, of a bit of kernel can in a minute as well, I would imagine. But there we go. Uh, I don't think this is actually the first Pacific that I've run. I, I think I've probably got another one in service somewhere, but uh, off the top of my head, given that my memory has leaked out of my brains and it's probably in a cardboard box somewhere in the shed at the bottom of the garden, uh, we're just going to have to go with it. Right. How are we going to make this work, you ask? Uh, we'll be back for some more uh, scenic action there in a, in a, in a moment or two. Uh, but first, we're going to want to uh, apply some science on here and uh, the science we're going to want to apply is the uh, is the tram track uh yeah yeah sure thing and then round the corner like that sure thing now good hooter uh now the the, the challenge here is going to be whether uh whether we go for a standalone bus stop of the turn it all around shake it all about kind of nature uh, or whether we don't. Oh, and that's, uh, that's that's quite a heady choice you've got there. Yeah, we're going for it. Okay. I think it makes sense uh, because obviously using this space to put a tram uh, a tram station in uh, means that it can't then be used uh, for Johnny Citizen to move in with his family and uh, and buy tickets on a regular basis to to ride on Chaz contraband. As we all want to from time to time. Uh, so this is now, this is, uh, and it's not Upper Caprica City at all. If anything, it's the lower part. This is Caprica City Station. How much? And we'll uh, we'll just tell you, uh, where are you? Uh, Bo Capra. Uh, yes, I think we tell Bo Claire Capra to stop here instead of where it's going at the moment. Ooh, that's bold. It is. Right, uh, because we will then pick up anyone who wanted that bit of uh, of Caprica uh, on the uh, on the multi-stopping uh, Anxiomise Capra, as you do. Right, so Caprica City Central, we will stop there as well, but then we'll go out to the station, and then we'll go back via Central. Yeah, I know, the, the traffic's not really suited to this kind of a manoeuvre, but we're going to do it anyway, because uh, funnelling passengers out where we want them kind of gets the passengers where we want them. I should probably... Uh, yeah, how much is that going to cost me? 121k. Well, I've spent so much this episode already, I might as well fling out a little bit more. And uh, after all, uh, money is like manure. Uh, it ain't no good unless you spread it around a little. And, uh, you know, if you know where I've quoted that from, without looking it up on Google, come on, people, play the game, uh, then uh, then you'll know where I quoted that from. Right, okay, can we get a bus stop, station, tram stop, station, tram, bus stop, anything in here? Yes. Yeah, and for relatively low cost. Well, in that case, I've relatively paid for it. Uh, let's, uh, uh, now then, where are you, who, what? You go, you only do Townsville, 
It's no wonder you're not growing very much. If if Townsville is your only connection to the outside universe, uh, it's it's no mystery at all to me that, uh, that you're not a burgeoning me metropolis of burgeoning something. Uh, right, upgrade that. Unable to align the terrain. Had to happen someday. Okay, well, that's all right. I'm over it. All right, a citadel uh, station. Stage. There we go. Now then, we either go uh, a cheeky commute. So we could go. I mean, actually, the citadel's coming along all right. Uh, what have you got coverage of? The entire town, apart from that bit. Okay. Well, we could probably run a commuter up. You know, just going boink, 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 boink. Uh, but uh, I don't think it really matters which way I cut it at this stage. I think what is what is inevitable here is that this is going to be yet another white elephant in the uh, in the costs department. Uh, is it's going to cost me uh, oh a, a good a good few shekels? Um, yeah, you see, I think we could. Yeah, all right, let's do that. Really, you you know you've kind of used up enough time to to call it a day for today's episode. Yeah, I know, but I've 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 been away for a bit. I want to get my eye in. Oh, all right, it doesn't really make any sense, but you you do what feels right. All uh, right, okay, tram track and road that goes to the other station that it was a waste of money. You could claim all of this is a waste of money, and what good would that do us? Right, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to run this. What's your problem? Why are you showing red? You shouldn't be showing red. You should be showing happy. I'm going to say that you're showing happy. All right. Uh, all right. We're going to go around the corner, up here, down this one. We're going to upgrade this beach uh, that they currently drive on. And then we're going to head on out into the uh, into the wilderness. And we're going to replace these flipping buses with some flipping trams. Uh, because uh, the road traffic is becoming agitated. Uh, also, I appear to have turned that all into city streets, which is perhaps misleading uh, given that there isn't a city there of course I mean we could turn the whole thing to one giant strip mall and uh, that might work oh hello uh, you've already got some trams playing the game around here uh, why uh, why for not have you uh, have you done this bit I'll tell you what hang on I've got a notion uh, give me to turn me magic wand off fling that around the corner it can't be too expensive it's quite expensive yeah but I'm past carry uh, go that way, wang that on there like so. And then if there is any sense to anything ever, anywhere, anywhere in the world, uh, this will just work. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something that, that's a little unusual. Because uh, I don't usually do this. If you're travelling on that side, that should do it. Now, these two bus stops are really close together, right? That's, you, you know, you look at that you, with horror. You're aghast. You kind of go... Why would you? Why would you? Why would you? And I say, well, for reasons. And uh, and those reasons are, I don't want this new service to have to turn around in the middle of the road. You're going to be happy enough for the old one to do it. I am, aren't I? Where are you? You're Townsville to Asgard. Well, here's a thought. Yeah. Yeah, it is a thought. Yeah, I mean, that's a profitable service. What if we were to run it all the way out to the Citadel? Ooh, what if we were to run it all the way out to the Citadel? Uh, retire those buses, which are just old and busted. 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 See? Um, yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, we're on the way. Uh, right, out of the Citadel. It means that that new stop that I just put in was a complete waste of time. Uh, but, you know, it's not the first time I've done something like that. And I very much doubt it will be the last. Uh, right, okay, round here. Have I got stops on both sides of the road? No, senor. Okay, well, no, senor is uh, is not the right answer. So we will uh, we will go like so, and then we can stop on this side of the road. Right, go from there, then to that one, Townsville Central, out to Asgard Station. This feels like a. Hold on, why are we? Why are you executing a maneuver? What have I done? Townsville Central, Asgard Station. It's because you've done it, thinking you're facing the other way. So Asgard, that needs to go out to here. Uh, then not town, yes, then to Townsville Central. That one, however, is redundant. There you go, that's it. So I, I thought I'd, I'd just, I'd looked at it wrong and I was wrong. 
Uh, so there you are. How many vehicles we got in here? Uh, five. If we were to up that to more, then, uh, then that would work. Now then, let's retire the old service. Uh, town Chitter. Hello, autosave. It's been a very long time since I've seen you. I hope you're doing well. How's the family? Right, you lot. Hello. All right. We're here happily making money. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, hold on. End of year. Pause. Judiciously. On the 31st of December. Always oh, good. He's lucky. All right. You lot. Come here. Uh, Intercity town Chitter. Uh, we should be Sitter, really, shouldn't it? Given it's Citadel, not Chitterdale. What's the matter with you? Uh, town. Mm hmm. Yes, is not it's not listed. What have I done? Uh, ooh, tricky. Uh, is the no the colon's in the right place? The colon is in the right. Place. Hang on, what have I done? What are you looking at? That's buses. Does it think this is a tram? All right. Well, let's have a look. In city town. Yeah, it does. It thinks it's a tram. Well, that's because there are tram stops everywhere. Flip it. It makes 124 grand. You sure you want to retire this? Yes. Okay. That was quite a pain. Yes, there. Uh, go get sold. Uh, and then while you're at it, shut that down. There you go. Good. Right. That's you dealt with. Now then, and, uh, what? Did, how many trams are ourselves going to buy? Quite a few. What are we running on here at the moment? They are at least relatively modern. The CE two two. All right. Okay. Where's it? Uh, where did I buy them from? I bought them from the Asgard Tram Depot with my loyalty card. Uh, right, you do 25 miles per hour, hold 11 passengers. The Type 1 does 37 miles per hour. I'm going in. Uh, we're going to buy... Well, hold on. Firstly, we're going to have to replace these lot, otherwise we end up with queues. Right, so we'll do that. Replace now. Sharp intake of breath. Uh, and then we'll buy one, two, three, four, five, six. Go big or go elsewhere. And we'll stick all of those on town Asgard. There you go. Right. Right. So now we are. No, wait. We don't unpause. Now we pay back 500,000. Keep the bank manager sweets. Uh, then we roll the game. Game roll. Right. Now then, I think that line will pay handsomely. Uh, the additional speed of these, uh, these newer trams, I think, is going to get results. And results is what we demand. So, uh, so you know, there's that in flat. You know, have some trams, all the trams, all the time. Tram, 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 tram. tram, tram. How many did I buy? How many did I buy? I think I bought a few, didn't I? Ah, well, that's just details. Uh, right. Okay. Well, that's you know, that's golden. That's that's possibly a little oversupply going on there. Uh, not to worry. Oh, look at all of this lot. By criminy. Uh, what have we got here? That's Asgard Station. Uh, Intercity Town Asgard. Well, it doesn't do it. It goes Town Asgard Citadel now. Uh, so that needs a rename. Town Asgard uh, Citadel. It doesn't do it in that order, but yeah, I've. I've all right, okay, I'll rename it. Just for you. Intercity. Inter. Ter, yes, city. No, keep going. Try again. Uh, all right, starts at Asgard. As good. To town. To sitter. Happy now? Oh, I am delirious. Right, so you do a bit of that. You don't have that. You are the commuter. You are the station. Okay, well, there's, there's, some, there's some interesting ideas going on here. Uh, and then we head on up to, uh, to Townsville, where there is uh, a, mighty, a mighty population of people waiting to be picked up. That's good. Uh, we then trundle onwards up to the Citadel. Uh, where's our where's our trailblazing tram here? It's over there. It's going to be a little while before that one turns up. But even then, we've got a fair few people waiting here. We've got 20 people want to go to the station. Boom shakalaka. Uh, and then we've got a few people who want to go the other way as well. Here comes Chaz Contraband. We're nobody on board. That's that new train feeling. Uh, what the, what's the new train feeling? Losing all your money is the new train feeling. Uh, right, we'll do a quick count up on the money and then I'll leave you for the day. Uh, right, what do we do? Down three and a half million last year. Okay, that's fine. 
But income, 17. Running costs, 8.6. 17, 8.6. 17, eh? 8.6. Right? We are, we're very close to, uh, to hitting a, a $10 million profit year if I don't spend any money in the course of that year. The likelihood of that happening is negligible. So, uh, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll, we'll take that under advisement. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure, and uh, I'll be back soon with another one, uh, because where else would I be? Uh, were it not for this, I'd have to do something else. And it would probably be this. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Are we going to Colonel Cam, or are we just going to chicken out and let it follow along by the side? We could ride on board. And once you've seen one hillside view, you've seen them all. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be back eventually. Cheerio. So there you go, new recording venue. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little smaller than uh, than historic, but uh, it's, uh, I mean, you know, I can almost touch both the walls. It's not quite a cupboard. Allegedly, it's a bedroom. <laughs> Allegedly. It's not a bedroom now. It is, uh, it is my new uh, secret world domination cave of majesty. Uh, which is where I like to reside. Uh, anyway, Transport Fever, loving it, absolutely. Keep going, uh, I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. And the profit is in exactly the right place now for me to extend. However, I think this route that I've done today is not going to do the business unless I take it a little bit further. I think that uh, persuading some of these towns to connect up to it is gonna prove to be challenging. So, uh, so next job, make it go further. And we'll get to that next time.